Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Today we're going to be building new passenger and cargo lines from Amsterdam all the way to South Italy. Welcome to London. Welcome to the heart of London. This is the train station here as you can see. London train station and cargo hub. Welcome to London. Welcome back to another episode. Guys, in the last episode we reconstructed London and we also reconstructed Brussels in Amsterdam. Let's take a look at how these cities are going. London back up to 724 Residents, look at all the residents. We're doing really well here in terms of our train port area is doing pretty well And let's come over to Amsterdam and Brussels. Amsterdam's got 683 residents and Brussels have got 204 residents. I don't know why it's complaining. It must not have enough goods Not enough goods or something. I have no idea why it's not doing uh, like having a supply I'm not sure why I'll have to have a look at that in a sec, but these towns are great growing very nicely and organically. Look how beautiful it looks. We've got some nice high rises by the train station. And over here at London, London, man, I have to admit, London's doing pretty damn well. Guys, we're doing pretty well. Smash a like on the video. Can we get about five likes on this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. But guys, let's take a look at what I did before, or I should say between episodes. Let's come straight over to Dublin. Dublin, we need to talk about first. All right, so I put in a train station here, another train station here, another train station over here. Well, we've got the farms connecting up to the bread line, which is really cool to see. In terms of this train, this train's now got 30 bread, and at the station we've still got another three. So this train is going to come to this station here. If I speed the game up, you'll be able to see how much money we make off this train. This train makes us 153,000. So this train is finally making us money. It's making us enough money to get going. As you can see, we've still got five um, bread in, the, in there. This truck has 25 bread on it. If I have a look, we've got uh, multiple trucks around here so let's maybe go with this truck here let's watch this truck as it comes down we're gonna wait for it to get to the first stop which is down here all right there you go the truck is coming out the first stop 56,000 as you can see it took the full load there if it doesn't need to take the full load there then it will only drop half and bring the other half up to here and as you can see Dublin is 500 residents yes guys 500 residents as you see mainly bread and mechanics here but yeah 500 residents as you can see update all the road infrastructure it looks absolutely beautiful. Got the hovercrafts in here as well. So if we go to the line and we look at, in terms of just eyesight view, what we can see right here, as you can see, our trucks aren't making much money. So maybe let's maybe sell one of our trucks. We'll sell one of our trucks. Let's go back to line. As you can see, the train line, 800,000 from our train line. Now in terms of our hovercrafts, are making us nearly a million dollars and our tram loot, $100,000 there. So this line, this city is doing really well. Dublin is the way to go. Now, if we come over here to Liverpool and Manchester, as you can see, I've added in these roads down to here into these little artificial um, bits of islands here. As you can see, this city is growing as well. As you see, mainly residential down here. And in the heart of the city, it's all been upgraded with new big roads and all of that. And Liverpool and Manchester has nearly 400 residents. We're only supplying bricks, but I need to get tools down into this area as well. That is another thing we need to look at. Now, making money, like always, let's have a look at um, what we're doing here. In terms of our trucks, we're not worried about that. Liverpool Bricks is making us 200000 Our tram loops making us $40,000. And yeah, making good money here. So this city is growing slowly, as you can see. I did update all the infrastructure here, which is super cool to see. I didn't update anything else. Our planes are still making money. Our DHL tra planes, trains, whatever I'm talking about, are making money. But as you can see, one thing we did add in is one big difference is that we need now got truck stops, we've got truck stops, we've got tram stops in every single city. So now we're able to supply the goods to every single city so we can start growing the cities back up again so they can do very well. In terms of our ore and coal mines over here, as you can see, they are using the big trucks now over here. And I think we're now supplying enough over here. Yeah, look at that, 23,000 iron, but only 300 that. Wow, 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 wow. So we're kind of making good money now. So we're kind of getting this going. In terms of our mode, they're doing pretty well. Frankfurt's doing pretty well. 503 residents. Hamburg is doing pretty well. 444. That's good. Okay. As you can see, a lot of these places here, though, um, you know, we, we get good big train lines. And this, this train line's 4 million. Wow. Wow. Okay. 4 million.
million. How much is that, that train line, mate? Stockholm Timber. Let's have a look. Coming in to the station. Here we go. Here we go. How much money do you make, sir? Let's have a look. Five million dollars. Not too bad. Hamburg is growing as well. 444. I think I did say that. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, we haven't really upgraded this place yet. And um, these farms here just still working. They're bum off. This, why are they still using old trucks? Hmm. Let's come into here. We need to fix this issue very quickly. We need to fix some of these issues up. We're going to maybe delete. No. How many is 13? So we'll get three. That's 13. That's 10, 9, 8. They should have eight left. There we go. And six. Yeah, that should be all right. Let's get a farm to... There's two farms and there's bread. Okay, so let's go with that. We're going to replace all of them with the cargo. We're going to figure out... It's going to be this one here for 10 million. There we go. And the bread to Hamburg. We're going to get only five vehicles on this line. There we go. We're going to sell five and we're going to replace them with these boys. That is it. Big trucks moving big things. Bread shops making us good stuff. Good, good, good. But today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at supplying. Not, I don't know why I said supplying. We're going to be looking at connecting up more towns now. Now, the plan is we've got a train station here. As you can see, we've got a train station here. We've got a uh, little bit of... We want to go underground and maybe come back up over here maybe or something or maybe come underground then above ground or something like this. I don't know what I really want to do. Maybe come along the shoreline here. Where do we want to go? Well, we're going to go from Amsterdam. Like the question is we want to go to Paris. I don't think I want to go to Paris, right? I think from Amsterdam. From Amsterdam, I think I want to come down to Frankfurt. From Frankfurt, I want to come down to Vienna. I then want to come down to Budapest. Then I want to come down to Belgrade. And then I want to come down to Sofia. That'd be pretty cool. We can come down this way. But I do want to come down through um, Italy. Italy is the way I want to go. So it's Amsterdam. We could come from Amsterdam to Frankfurt, which could be pretty cool because we are supplying Frankfurt with stuff. From here, we can then come to Zur Zurich. From there to Lyon. Uh, to here. To to here, to here, down to here. That could be a pretty cool, that could be awesome, you know? <laughs> or, or we could skip these two towns and just go from Amsterdam to Frankfurt to Zurich to Mi Milano, Milano, I think I said that right, to Rome, to Naples, and that could be one nice line there. That could be pretty cool. I'm gonna see what we can do, but we are making money. We're half a million dollars. We're making good money, but it's time, guys, to get started. We're gonna do a bit of a time lapse today and building up these cities. I am probably gonna get rid of some of these roads, but making sure we add in some nice infrastructure, getting in some nice train lines in here. Not sure where we're going to put them, but we'll figure it out. We always figure it out, don't we guys? Maybe put a train line in here. Maybe actually get rid of that road and put a train line there. That'd be pretty cool. Guys, before we get straight into doing a time lapse, I need to let you know that 30% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So 60% of people who watch my videos are not actually subscribed. Guys, what are you doing? Pause the video right now and click that red subscribe button down below. You will not regret it. And guys, if you enjoy the time lapse as well, make sure you do click that subscribe button and smash a like on the video because guys, you will not regret it, right? If you don't want to subscribe, smash a like on the video. That'd be greatly appreciated because guys, we're going to have bringing, bringing in some new games soon. There's one of the games that I'm thinking of playing. I'm thinking of playing. If I figure out what the game is called, I will tell you. I'm thinking of playing Startup Company Next. What do you guys reckon? Comment down below. What do you think? Should we play Startup Company Next? This is the last week for Transport Fever 2, so should we play Startup up company in the next episode video series episode i don't know why i said episode series should we play startup company in the next series guys comment down below let me know what you think because after the startup company we're going to be playing some farming simulator 2022 it's so close we are nearly there guys farming simulator is going to be coming out very shortly guys i cannot wait to play farming simulator i used to play farming simulator like when i was 13 years old i created a youtube channel had a few people say awesome you know like those videos were all pretty cool farming simulator videos right um, um, but I honestly think with Farming Simulator, we'll be able to reach a new audience as well and really get people coming in, which is pretty cool. So, guys, enjoy the video. Smash a like on the video. But I don't know what I'm saying. I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. But, guys, with that said, let's just start the time lapse. Enjoy. Echoes in my soul. My weakness comes and goes.
The train lines are in. This is Rome, guys. We're in Rome. Do we have a bus coming? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. But we do have the lines all in, which is super cool. The bus isn't really making us money, but it will soon. It soon will, guys. It will soon. Uh, in terms of over here at Naples, I think we're doing pretty well in terms of this bus. Uh, pretty cool. We only got one bus there, one bus in Rome. We got one bus in Milano. There we go. There we go. So these are what the train lines look like. And what we are going to do is we need to start setting up these lines, start getting people to tra get transported. So let's come in to the Rome train depot. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we could really consider, well, we don't want to do steam. Right. Oh, <laughs> what am I doing? Let's um <laughs> do this. We don't want steam. Steam. Steam's not, not, not available. We don't re We could do electric, but uh, I'm not really... Uh, I'm not really leaning towards that. I don't really want to do electric. See, if we do electric, right, and let's say we want the 200, then in terms of the passenger, we can do 33 on... We need a 200, so we need this one here. So we'll get maybe 110, right? So in total... Does that tell you? No, it doesn't. All right, so it's gonna the upkeep for this machine. So it's 400. It's so it's half a million nearly for this one here, and for this one the upkeep every single year is five million. So it's five million for this one, and here so it's nearly what what is it? Five and a half million, five and a half million. Now, if we go to the multiple units, we've got a multiple electric, and we also got multiple electric. As you can see, if I click a, a rail bus, it's just one. But if I click on the electric one, we've got this one here goes 125. This one here goes 300. This one here goes um, 130, and this one here is a very fast train, 280. So this is a 300. I was the TG um, V is the one that I was going to be looking at. Now, the, is that the upkeep? Every single year, it's going to cost $9.7 million. Wow, okay. Um, we could consider using that. But I think, well, maybe it might be best to go back and just use these trains here. Because it, it is going to cost us less per year. But only go 200 Ks. Now, we kind of want something that's going to go super fast. And I think the TGV trains are going to be super cool to look at. So I think we're going to go with one of those trains. We're actually going to get... $58 million, well, cool bananas. We're gonna put one of them on there. We're gonna do that, the Amsterdam to Naples. There we go, Amsterdam to Naples. What are you talking about? Um, That needs to get onto what platform? What do you mean, what, wait, what are you talking about? Oh, no, it shouldn't have an issue. This is what the train looks like, guys. Take a look at this. Let's, uh, Go like this. Oh, man. This is a fast train. Let's have a look at what it's going to be like. It's going to come into the station. It's not going to load up anything. <laughs> There's no, no path electric. It could be electric. What it, was it talking about? I swear I upgraded all of these to electric. Electrification. Should all be electric. So you should just be able to switch around. And we should be able to sort that issue out, shouldn't it? Let's have a look. It's all electric. We're going to take a run with the train. Look how fast it is. 70. Coming into the station. There we go. Boom. No one's loaded up. Okay, why is it is it going back? Is it why is it going back? Why can't it go forward? So it looks like something is missing right in right here. Why isn't it not allowing it to go forward? I swear I upgraded all of this line. Let's double check that it's it is all blue. Yes, it's all blue. All blue. Yes. Yes, it's all blue. Okay, so let's figure out what is the issue. No path, no electric. What is it talking about? High speed track. They're all high speed in terms of electrification. They are all electrification. Hmm. Why are you complaining? Guys, do you know what is the issue here? Buildings, tracks, tools, tracks. Sentry, key, yes, electric, no. I want to go tools, maybe. Electrification, oh, okay, is, it, is that the track? Let's have a look. No path for electric. Is this one here? Let's spin this around. Let's see if it will go the other way. Hello. Let's have a look. Uh, is it because it's this one here, maybe? I don't really know. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. There's no warning signs, apparently. Is it going to keep going straight? 
We're in Rome. There we go. One person. No, it's going the other way. I want it to go this way. Bang. Why is it going that way? All right. Let me have a look at this line. What are we doing? Okay. We and why are we going back the other way? Okay, let's have a look, see what happens. What are you going the other way for, sir? Let's have a look at what this train is going to do. Beautiful train. Look at it coming in to the station now. Let's have a look. What is it going to do? Picking up all stations. Amsterdam, all stations south. Okay, let's have a look at what it does. Can we go... Ah! Ooh, let's see if I can... Can I go in the cabin? Oh, this is cool. Oh, uh, I don't want to do it. Yeah, that is awesome. Awesome. There we go. So we are now pushing out to Amsterdam. Look at that going 100 odd Ks an hour. Check out this train man hello auto save come on <laughs> hurry up auto save pretty damn cool this train is speeding up there we go what, what are we going 150 now that is super cool coming into the station oh yes not nah, skipping the station let's go i oh, think we're going heading um for uh, amsterdam amsterdam rotterdam so this is going all the way out to that side this is a pretty fast train going very fast Hopefully it will make us a lot of money. Now, what we can do now is we can put another train on this line. And that is something I would like to do. But I want to see if I can get this train to be profitable first. If this train can be profitable, then we can look at the next step. We've got uh, 167 over here, 100, nearly 180 here. What do we got? 136 over here. Naples has 95. How much will the train make? For half a million dollars. There we go. So the question is, should we buy another train? I think... I think we should. I think this is going to be really beneficial. Having trains go both ways, meaning that could bring in a lot of money. Let's get that train going. That train is going to start going, as you can see. There we go. So now the, the people over here won't need to wait for this train. Actually, I might get this train to stop over here. Actually, yeah, I might do that. So we'll get this train. This train's going to dock at this station. There we go. And we're going to pick up all the people. We're not going to pick up the people yet. We're just going to pause that train there because we know we've got another train coming. As you can see, that train is right here. It's got to come to Rome. Then it's going to go to there. Um, wow, this train's full. Look at that. This train is full, full, and full. How much money does it make? It's coming into Rome. How much does it make here? It's going to take a while for it to make money. I think it's going to take a while for it to make money. But hopefully it will. How much does it make here? Let's have a look. $1.9 million. Wow, $1.9 million. All right. Don't forget, the more people that are on the train, that's going to be pretty cool. Naples, how much money is it going to get once it gets to Naples? Let's have a look. This is going to be pretty exciting. How much does it make, guys? Comment down below. How much do you think it's going to make? A million? Let's have a look. It makes us $1.3 million. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we are going to wait for this train to go all the way back to Amsterdam now. And then I'm going to get this train to start operating. Meaning this train's at Amsterdam. This train's at Naples. Meaning like... Once they get to the center, they should cross at the center, meaning having another train now on the line. People that are, like, example in, like, example, like, uh, Zurich, like, Zurich, they might want to go to Amsterdam. Example, these guys might want to go to Amsterdam, but the train that is coming back is stopping at Zurich and then going down to Lyon, right? They can get on the other train that goes straight to Amsterdam, so they'll have a bit more of an option, um, in terms of what they want to do. That's pretty cool. There's the train going up underground doing it see i'm gonna wait for it to get to amsterdam but i am gonna put it in a slow speed but guys i think that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for, so much for watching today's video smash a like on the video if you did go to enjoy it can we get about five likes on this video and make sure you also go down below and click that red subscribe button down below because like 60 percent of people who watch my videos are not subscribed so click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos but guys in the next episode whoa i'm thinking of stealing some oil from Africa. Yes, we're going to be stealing some oil from Africa. Look at all the oil refineries that we've got in Africa. I'm thinking of actually getting some lines set up here. Transporting it maybe to transporting that oil over to the water down into the Pal Palermo refinery. Right? So we go to here and then we could transport that oil 
oil basically over there here to make fuel right that could be pretty cool we can make fuel or we you know what we should do put an airport in here somehow put an airport so it connects both of them so if fuel gets dumped off here like here it's going to be able to feed to both of them so meaning we get fuel into here we can then make fuel actual fuel guys yes you heard me right we can make actual fuel or we can make we can make fuel and then ship the fuel back i wonder though I wonder, this is raw material, right? This is raw material. We make 20, so from over, like, over in uh, Russia to, um, up to <laughs> where we're making our oil, we're making $20 million a trip. So over here, maybe a little bit more via plane, we may make more money here. But will we make more money if we turn the raw oil into actual, um, into the refinery. So if we take it straight to the refinery, will we make more money that way? Will we make more money by sending it to here and then from here then shipping it out? Will we make more money? I'm not too sure, guys, but I don't think I want to make the fuel here. I think I want to send that oil all the way up to here and then get some more ships on this line here because this guy here, the Atwip fuel, I should not call it that. Let's call that, um, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's rename that. Uh, that doesn't sound right. Oh, no. Let's change that quickly to the Brussels. Ah, there we go. Brussels fuel refinery. There we go. We can make fuel here, supply Amsterdam with fuel, and we can supply London, Glasgow. But then this Brussels area can be the main hubs, as you can see. We're making fuel down here, then we're shipping it over to, you know, London. So we're making money bringing it back, you know. So example, right, you know, we go back down to Africa. This is like an example I try to make, right? You know, we make money, we send the oil to a boat. So we make money like that. We send the boat over to here. We make money off that, right? Going back on the boat, we won't make money. We put that on a plane. We bring the plane all the way over, uh, all the way up to Glasgow. We bring the plane up to here and we dock in over here. We make like 20, 30, maybe even $40 million a trip, right? We then put it on a train. The train will bring it down into London. We make money that way. We put it on a boat to Brussels. We make money. We send it back. We make money. Put it on the train. We basically, that train will make money when it, once it gets back to Glasgow. On the truck to London. And yeah, you know what it means. It means we will make money. In terms of over here, in terms of bread, we've got 46, we've got 29. This guy is doing pretty well. We've got 100 out of 120. I'm now considering figuring out if we could put a nut, put maybe a bread on in the port. Actually get the bread dropped off at the port. Drop the bread off at the port. Bring it over to Liverpool. And then maybe from Liverpool, maybe get it on a train so it can get it into London maybe. I wonder if we can do something like that next. I'm not too sure. Sure, but where is that train now? That train should be coming in. There we go. Let's start that train back up. There we go. 13. Let's turn this around. We'll just uh, turn that train back around, you know. <laughs> turn the train back around just to load up the extra. We've only got 13 passengers, but let's just double check. All right, no electric path. Let's uh, turn that around. Let's go forward. That's it. And then we'll go back. 13. This train is docked. 13 people. 20, 40, 59, and 69. There you go. We will then... Where is this train? This train's still at the station. There we go. Uh, there's the train. There's that train there. We are going to send that train back just very quickly. There we go, Rome, and there we go, we'll send it back, there we go, alright, everything is in sync now, hopefully these guys will start making money, let's have a look, not in terms of eyesight, in terms of a balance, 29, 30 million from our planes, the ones that are costing us the, le not much, we're not, <laughs> the ones that are charging us a lot of money are our trains, but hopefully, we'll run the game now, hopefully this will start making money, my game is starting to lag, my computer is lagging, it might mean that I need to get a PC soon, but my game is so lagging, 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 lagging so much. Wow, 47 on that loop. Wow, 800 in London. Wow, will we reach a 1,000 citizens in London in the next episode? Comment down below. But guys, in the next episode, we will be taking a look at more oil, setting up new lines, and making sure all of our new cities have goods so they can grow and make us a fair bit of money. Half a million, half a million dollars. We're so close to a billion. Guys, if you want to enjoy today's video, make sure you smash a like on the video. If you want to see more videos just like this one, make sure you click the subscribe button right here. Click up here to watch the last video. Click down the bottom here to watch the full playlist of Transport Fever 2, guys. I will catch you all in Thursday's episode at 12 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, guys. With that said, have a great rest of the day, and I'll catch you then.